let us now <clears throat> take a short quiz to test our understanding of the concepts discussed so far. The stock lying unsold with the consignee belongs to A. Consigner B. Consignee as he bears the risk C. Both A and B D. None of these I'll give you a minute to just think it over. The stock lying unsold with the consignee. It's also referred to as the consignment stock or stock on consignment. Belongs to, I repeat, it belongs to the consigner. It belongs to the consigner. The goods physically lie in the godown of the consignee. The stock which is unsold belongs to the consigner. The property is not transferred. Only goods are sent physically. <clears throat> So the correct answer A, consigner. Next, overriding commission is a commission payable to consignee by consigner for. Overriding commission is a commission payable to consignee by consigner for A, protecting himself from bad debt, for making sales above a specific price, as C, as a good friend, and D, as loyalty payment. Overriding commission is a commission payable to consignee for making sales above a specific price. For protecting himself from bad debt, usually we pay a del credit commission. Commission is not paid as a good friend or as a loyalty in case of consignee. So the correct answer should be B. Overriding commission, commission payable. To consignee by consigner for making sales above a specific price. Correct answer B. Next, Del Credere Commission is a commission payable to consignee by consigner for A. Protecting himself from bad debt for making sales above specific price as a good friend. D. As a loyalty payment. I think we already mentioned this in the previous example. Del Credere Commission. Commission payable for protecting the consigner from bad debt. So the correct option should be A. Next, overriding commission is computed on cash sales. It's computed on credit sales only. It's computed on total sales. D, it is computed on credit sales less cash sales. Overriding commission is computed usually on total sales. Correct answer C, total sales. Account sales. Account sales indicates A, the net amount due from consigner to consignee by way of commission. B, the net amount due from consignee to consigner. C, Net sales effected by consignee. D. None of these. What is account sales? Account sales is a statement which is submitted by the consignee to the consigner. Now what does it have? The net amount due from consignor to consignee by way of commission. Net amount due. No. The net amount due from consignee to consigner. That seems to be the correct answer. Net sales affected by the consignee and none of these. So actually, an account sales contains the details of the sales which is affected by the consignee. Also expenses which are incurred by him. Also commission which is payable to him. And the unsold stock which is lying and balance amount which is due by the consignee to the consigner since the consignee has sold goods and collected money on behalf of the consigner. Therefore, account sales indicates the correct answer should be B. Indicates the net amount due from consignee to consigner. <clears throat> now, 
Next, a pro forma invoice is sent by A. Consignee to consigner, B. Consigner to consignee, C. Debtors to consignee, D. Debtors to consigner. A pro forma invoice. A pro forma invoice is sent by consigner to consignee. It details, gives the details and the cost of the goods being sent to the consignee so that the consignee can sell the goods on behalf of the consignor. So pro forma invoice is sent by consignor to consignee. Correct answer B, option B. Next, B of Bhopal consigned 5 lakh worth of goods to M of Mumbai. M made a credit sale of rupees 2 lakh, cash sale of rupees 1 lakh of the consignment goods. M is entitled to an ordinary commission of 5% and a Dell Credit commission of 2%. Compute total commission. Ordinary commission of 5% and Dell Credit commission of 2%. Mind you, both ordinary commission and Dell Credit commission would be computed on total sales. So what is total sales? Total sales is 2 lakh plus 1 lakh. Credit sales plus cash sales, 3 lakh is total sales. How much is commission? Ordinary commission is 5%. Dell Credit commission is 2%. We need to compute total commission. Therefore, can we say that the total commission is 5 plus 2 equal to 7% of 3 lakh which is equal to rupees 21,000. So the total commission is 21,000. 